Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I just think it's something we didn't really concern ourselves with. Like, each person in this locker room knows and wants to play any team in the country. And as far as I know, uh, we're, we weren't ducking anybody. We're not afraid to play anybody. So, I don't know, I just, I just saw it as fake news. We all saw it as fake news because we know that that's just not how it's ran, the BYU is ran here. So... Troy, how much does it mean to you as a senior? And I know you'll have options after the season as far as what that means, but to be able to have a chance to go play a ranked team on the road late in the season and show how good you as an individual and, and the team as a whole is. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's huge. And, and I, feel, I think we all feel very fortunate and thankful to just be able to play this game and uh, uh, to be able to play on college game day, is a, it's a huge opportunity and, and it's a great way for us to kind of showcase what, what we're about. Um, so I think uh, this game is, is, is something we're all excited about. Troy, what kind of statement do you feel like you guys have to make in order to maybe impress this playoff committee that so far has kind of kept you guys lower than some other polls would have you guys? Um, I think, honestly, I think at the end of the day, we just got to go out there and play our game. Uh, we can't get too caught up in, in, in that kind of stuff because you never know, it could potentially throw us off our game. So if we just go out there and just, just play our game and, and, and dominate uh, on every level, I think that'll take care of itself. All right, let's take some questions from Ralph Russo, Chris Benini, and Pete Ecobelli. Hey, Troy, uh, thanks for doing this. Um, what's a practice like when you're finding out, I don't know, maybe like right before the practice, oh, by the way, you might be playing somebody tomorrow and here's what we, what, who we might be playing. So let's get to work on this. Like that's gotta be a little weird, but I also think that, I guess you guys have kind of gone through it before. What was yesterday's practice like? Well, before the week had even begun, uh we all knew that we had to prepare ourselves mentally and physically and and that was what was preached by the coaches you know before the week even started so we we all were anticipating a game getting uh getting scheduled and uh, we were very fortunate to actually get one scheduled and, and as soon as we knew who it was uh we just dove into film right away and and, and learn and try to learn as much as we could about coastal carolina and and uh, what they bring to the table and so that practice we we uh we made sure that we were dialed in and, 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 and assignment sound and, and getting prepared for this game. Do, do you guys, um, when you first hear that Coastal Carolina might play, do, do you guys as players try to look up anything you can before you know the GAs get the film to you or anything like that? I mean, when you first hear, are you like, okay, let me go just see if Coastal Carolina games on YouTube or anything like that? Yeah, before the game was even finalized, and we we had heard uh, that it was a, a a potential opponent. You know, we were in the we were in the film rooms, you know, finding games on them and 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 uh, watching as much film as we could, uh, because, you know, we find out on a on a Wednesday or a Thursday we're already a couple of days behind, so it, it's uh, we had to catch up a little bit. But um, I feel very good with where we're at right now and 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 where we'll be on Saturday. Troy, along those same lines, had you heard of Coastal Carolina? Have you followed what they've been doing this year? I mean, a few years ago, they were an, F an FCS program. Um, did you know much about the Chanticleers coming in? Well, I, I knew the I knew about the success that they had been having this year. I mean, uh, they've been doing some great things on, on both sides of the ball, and, and statistically, they've been you know one of the best. And so that's kind of hard not to take notice. Um, and quite honestly, I thought, you know, what a – that would be a great matchup between us and them. And so uh, it's funny how it works, but, you know, I'm excited that we get the opportunity to play them. Question from Sean Walker. Mute buttons scan me, Troy. You know how things work, though. Uh, <laughs> how, at, after, I mean, even even setting aside Coastal Carolina and how good this program is and, and how exciting, I mean, maybe this kind of plays into that question, but you guys have also been off for a number of days. You know, it's it's been here a good week and a half now. It'll be, off, it'll be two weeks since you last played against North Alabama. Does that get you going just the fact that, that you guys have a game this week? And did that maybe help get you guys going before you even know 
before you even knew that this game would be finalized, just knowing that, like, we've got to play, we have to play, like, we're hungry to play kind of thing? Yeah, I think, honestly, I think the week, the week and a half that we had off, that doesn't really concern me at all. I mean, even the week of Thanksgiving, we we wanted to play a game. Like, we were we were lifting, we were doing, you know, things as if we were going to play. And then when we found out we didn't have a play, then we took the week off. But, uh, you know, it, it that doesn't really concern me that much. I think uh, we're excited just to just to have an opportunity to play this week and and we we uh we accept any challenge that's that's thrown our way. So we're we're looking forward to it for sure. We got another person from Jared Lloyd and then Jay Catch. Sure, let's talk about what you have seen from Coastal Carolina as you've looked at them and started the prep. What uh, what challenges does their offense present? Yeah, I mean they uh, they present a, a, a lot of different challenges, but they've got a really good quarterback who uh, makes smart decisions with the football. He's a red redshirt freshman, and and uh, from what I've seen on film, he he uh, he he's impressed me. Uh, and 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 off offensively as a whole, they're they're very balanced. They can run the ball downhill. They can. Uh, they can, you know, run a little triple option. They can, they can pass the ball as well. They've got good, good skill, skill players, and and, and good old linemen and good running backs. So overall, overall, I feel like they're a very good, uh, very good offense that presents a good challenge for us. And and I see it as an opportunity for us defensively to uh, uh, to kind of just be dominant and, and show show the world uh, how how great of a defense we are. So yeah, Troy. You've played a lot of football. You're a senior now. You've traveled all over the country playing for the BYU football program. What is the biggest challenge traveling two time zones back to the eastern east eastern time zone? Uh, I I don't know. I don't really. It, it's not really a challenge for me. I think. Uh, y- you know, you could say that you know being on a plane for that long, you might have you know some heavy legs, but. It, it that doesn't really I don't think it's going to affect us come come game time I think each 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 uh, and every one of us is going to do what we what we have to do to be uh, to be prepared and ready and fresh and uh, and bring our best versions of ourselves come game day so I'm not I'm not too worried about it. Right, let's see the last question from Sean Walker. Probably just a really short follow up from me here, Troy. But you said you've already watched Coastal. You've been impressed by them, their rise, what they've done this year. Um, one thing always stands out about the Chanticleers this season, and that's the mullets. Have you guys took a notice of the mullets and and uh, anybody that that kind of stands out on that team? The mullets, huh? No, I, I I haven't heard. Apparently, it's a thing there. So yeah. I haven't heard. I haven't heard heard of that yet. So that's new to me. But uh, hey, more power to them.